I'm joining the Miccosukee Tribe of Indians of Florida in an essential conservation effort in the Everglades. Due to specific cultural restrictions of the tribe, they have tasked non-Miccosukee experts to remove invasive species and rejuvenate this critical ecosystem. Among these experts are Dr. Craig Vanderheiden, the director of Miccosukee Fish and Wildlife, and Marcel Bozas. Their expertise is vital as we take on one of this ecosystem's most formidable invaders. This is the river of grass. This is the backyard for the Miccosukee tribal community. When you look at it, Craig, it looks perfect. But we've got a major problem, don't we? Yes, we do, Jeff. It might look beautiful, but we have an ecological catastrophe on our hands. So we know that invasive species are crashing this ecosystem. And probably the top of that list would be pythons. Growing more than 20 feet in length, the Burmese python is one of the largest snakes in the world and is the ultimate invasive species. And they have devastated the Everglades ecosystem. This dog may be a solution. This is Chateau. And what makes Chateau specialized in finding pythons? Um, he's been initially trained to alert when he can smell a python and lead us to where they are. And these particular dogs have about 100,000 times better smell than we do. 100,000 times better than we do. Yeah. In less than 30 years, snakes have become the dominant predator in this ecosystem. 90% of all the furry creatures are gone. Deer, possum, raccoons, squirrels. bobcats, squirrels. Yeah. yeah, everything's gone. Listen, it's quiet, Yeah, which is kind of hard to say because I love snakes. I always I have to remind myself that the snake did nothing wrong. It's it, just surviving. It, it makes it difficult with the kind of job that we do as well because we, we have that same mentality. So perhaps Chateau is the solution to this incredible and devastating python problem. All right, how are we going to do this? So Chateau, you ready to hunt? Let's go, find right. it, find it. Oh, black racer. Shackle, come. Will you smell the racer or just the python? No, just the Burmese python. That's incredible. So we just had a black racer fly on through, and he's not interested. No. It's amazing. Of all the thousands of smells he can get, he's trained just to pick up that scent of the Burmese python. Focused on the mission. All right, let's go find a python. Come, Shackle. Find it. So guys, come on in. Chateau has picked up something in here. Come on, Shackle, find it. So this vegetation is thick. I would say impenetrable. I'm gonna find a python. That's where you gotta go. Hey, Jeff, we found something really interesting. Come and have a look at this. Okay. Wow. Look at this. We found a big part of the problem, and it's right here. You can see this nest filled with dozens and dozens of python eggs. If you want a powerful example of how an invasive species out competes and takes over an ecosystem. Look at this, because here is the next generation of the invader. It's almost like the plot thickening for a horror movie. Oh, it is. So how many eggs would have been laid here? So it looks like we got probably 60 to 70 eggs. 60 to 70 eggs. This is such a terrifying example of how, of how unprecedented this environmental catastrophe is. The invasive species, these pythons are taking over this environment and Greg, there's nothing there to take on the challenge. No, nothing. They're the apex predator in this environment. What is really important about this find as well is every year or two years, they'll use the same place to nest. Um, there's some older eggs in there that we found from probably a previous nesting. And the female will actually wrap herself around the eggs and incubate them. That's an interesting fact, Craig. The reptiles, right, you think pochelic, ectothermic, they're not generating a lot of body temperature. The exception, though, is a female snake with an egg clutch. These pythons will wrap around it. First of all, they're incredibly protective. You don't want to mess with the mom python and That's her right. eggs. But she'll create these almost like little shiver reflexive reactions that generate an electrical impulse, a heat energy, which assists with incubating that egg clutch. All right, let's go find a python. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> 